Hey, I'm here for you. So how did it go yesterday? I know yesterday you were spending time coding, hopefully. And um, some of you might not even seen that video, but I made a video recently where I was just like, just put it on your calendar to code. And a lot of you said they are committing to coding tomorrow and you schedule it in your calendar and you did that two hour block. So for those of you who did, how did it go? And for those of you who didn't, that's all right. Maybe schedule it for tomorrow and do it tomorrow. But I want to talk about the concept of momentum and why momentum is so important for you. You can be in a rut. You can be stuck. You can be feeling like you're not making progress. But as long as you're showing up every single day, I promise that you're making progress. I promise that you're moving forward, even if it doesn't feel like it. And sometimes gaining momentum is as simple as just showing up for that one day. Okay. So that might be just showing up tonight for a little bit of time in coding. That might be showing up tomorrow for a little bit of time in coding. And so if you didn't do that yet, I highly recommend you take the time now, schedule on your calendar for tomorrow, two hours, okay, put a two hour block, find it morning, evening, whenever you want. But that is very, very important. There are some of you who said that you guys are going to do it. I saw some of you tag me on the Instagram story and I've reposted your stories. You guys can go check it out at my uh, Instagram, which is at Clever Causey. But keep moving forward. Keep holding yourself accountable. Even right now, I'm training Muay Thai right now at the gym. And every day I go there, honestly, it doesn't really feel like I'm making progress. If you ask me day by day basis, I'm like, I don't think I'm improving much. But if you watch my footage and you look at me, I'm improving significantly. I'm completely different than I was even 15 days ago. And that's just 15 days. That's how it's going to be with coding. You won't feel like you're making much progress. And then a few days are going to pass and you're going to realize, holy crap, I am at a completely different level. But you got to give it time. Okay, you got to give it time and you got to put in days and hours and just practice and get the momentum. And you can even get the momentum with something very simple, something very easy, which is as simple as, hey, I'm just going to put it in my calendar and go do it. Okay, once you get that momentum going and you get that momentum up and running, then you will be in a winning momentum. Then you won't have problems coding on a regular basis. Then you won't have problems sticking to the schedule or maybe you might even find it fun, okay? Because it becomes a part of your routine. So make it a part of your routine. See what that does for you because I'm willing to bet you that that will do wonders for you if you can make it a part of your routine calmly show up every day, clear your mind, and just sit there and code. There are many things you can do, right? That doesn't matter as much. You could pick a little project to do. You could make a little app, you can make a weather app. You could, you know, make a little app for your friend, your girlfriend, whatever it may be. It doesn't so much matter what you're doing. As long as you're showing up every single day, you'll make progress, all right? So tiny bits of progress is what you need. In Atomic Habits, he talks about the concept of improving 1% every single day. And so as long as you're improving 1% every single day, I don't know, in a year, that's crazy. You've improved by, I don't know, 37% or 100%, I have no idea, but something ridiculous, okay? In a year, you would have improved a lot. So just focus on that. Every day practice, every day improve, and then it'll start to become muscle memory. Even with Muay Thai, sometimes when I'm learning the com combinations, they're awkward. I'm like, how do, I, how do I throw that punch? And then as I'm doing it more and more, it just starts becoming smoother where I'm throwing my left hook with the, you know, jab. Well, I'm throwing the jab, then I'm throwing a, uh, you know, uppercut. And then it starts becoming smoother and smoother. And then I, today I learned the spinning back fist and I almost landed it on one of my friends. That was nice. With practice, I'm learning all of this. With practice, I'm improving all of this. And with practice, I'm becoming smoother. That's what will happen to you with code. You'll be in the command line. You'll keep feeling stuck. You will feel, man, I, I just, I want to be able to type in the command line how I see these guys do it because they do it so fast. Why am I stuck all the time? I'm going to, you know, be able to take this idea of grabbing data from an API, whip it up, and then extract that, pull it into a CSV, 
Why can't I do that fast enough? Why am I so slow? The reason is you might conceptually understand it. You might have seen me code it. You might have seen tutorials on it, but you might have just not done it yourself enough. And if you've not done it yourself enough, then you will suck at it, you know, and you won't be that great at it. And you will always find it difficult. So don't be that hard on yourself. I said hard on. <laughs> so don't be that hard on yourself. Remember that with practice, you'll keep improving. So focus, really focus on the idea of practicing on a regular basis, showing up on a regular basis. Even when I'm lifting, I tell myself, calm your mind, just move your muscles. So calm your mind, move your hands and type and work. Calm your mind and just study. Learn something new with coding. You'll have made so much progress. So did you do it? For those of you who watched the video one or two days ago with me talking about coding and you scheduled it, did you actually follow through and do it? If you actually follow through and do it, I'm really proud of you. Let me know in the comments below. If you didn't follow through and you didn't do that, even though you said you would, also let me know and hold yourself accountable. And for the rest of you who didn't watch that video, who are just watching this video right now, it's totally fine. Put it in your calendar for tomorrow. Okay, just simple. Put a two hour block, one to two hour block in your calendar for tomorrow. Find a time, do that. And then take a screenshot on Instagram in your story and you can tag me and I will repost it. Okay, at Clever Causey, C-L-E-V-E-R-Q-A-Z-I. All right, that's it. That's all I have for you, okay? So I hope that this accountability, holding accountable, you moving forward every day helps you, okay? That's it. I love your beautiful face. And if you ever wanna learn coding with me, and you want to get coached by me or my team, we have a coaching application that's down below. Feel free to check it out. We'll, my team and I, we will get on a call with you, offer you a ton of value. And if it's a good fit for you, great, we'll let you know. If it's not a good fit, we will also let you know that. That's it. 